My name is Rob Levitt from The Butcher and Larder at Local Foods in Chicago, and today we're, I'm going to show you how a butcher carves a turkey. All right, so the first thing we do is we untie the legs. I don't fully trust a turkey, but I like to tie the legs together just to hold anything inside. I put an onion, some herbs in there just because I think it's nice. So I cut in the skin, and as I'm cutting, I'm cutting very gently, and I pull at the leg so that it can just break apart right at the joint. Okay, so we pop the joint out, and then I come in behind there, and I cut right through next, next to the backbone. And we pull off our first turkey leg. And then we do the same thing on the other side. The nice thing about doing this when the, when the turkey is rested for a while is that it's easy to handle, but also the pieces pull apart fairly easily. You don't have to do a lot of cutting, you don't have to do a lot of extra work. Um, they just sort of naturally pull apart. When I take the breasts off the turkey, I do it as though it's a raw turkey and I take the breasts off whole. Then I can cut them into slices and I like to cut them a little bit thicker um, so that when, when I reheat it, they don't dry out, they retain their heat better and I think they stay a little more moist and juicy. Um, so I start right in the middle and I cut down either side of the breastbone. And like before, if you cut all the way down, then the breast will pretty easily just pull right off. Let the knife kind of help guide it off so that you get a nice clean cut. But otherwise, it pulls off pretty easily. There's one. You can see I, I turn the turkey so that the front of the bird is facing me. Um, I think one of the things that people forget is that you can move the turkey or whatever it is you're carving, you can move it so that it's more comfortable for you. If you're reaching funny or just have your arms or hands at a funny angle, it's not going to make for a, a very fun experience if your knife slips. All right, with the two turkey breasts. I don't know if everybody likes the wings, but I have an aunt that loves them, so I always save them for her. Otherwise, I eat them after everyone's gone to bed oftentimes cold. And to cut the wings off, you can pull them apart a little bit. You can almost do it all by hand and you can see right where the joint is. You cut right in between the joint and they come right off. So of course we save, we save the carcass because with any luck my wife will make stromboli and turkey soup. I like to separate the drumstick from the thigh and to do that, the easiest way to do it is to find the space sort of in between this almost like little elbow and you can cut right through the joint. You got your, your drumstick and your thigh. And then to slice the breast, I slice at an angle. I don't like the slices to be too thin. It gives you a little more skin, gives you a little more surface area, but it's also a nice, thick, juicy slice. Sometimes I'll add a little, bit of, a little bit of turkey stock to the pan just to keep everything nice and moist, but they go back in the oven. All right, our turkey is hot. Our guests are seated. The wine has been poured. Let's get this on a platter. So we're gonna start with the turkey breasts. I like to fan them out just a little bit, makes them look a little nicer, and we want our family to feel special. And we'll take our drumsticks and put them on one end. Put our wings on the other end. Thighs I usually just put right on my plate. It's a little Game of Thrones, but I think everyone will be impressed. And there you go, that's how a butcher carves a turkey.